Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go through step 12 of the SAP UI5 walkthrough series. So SAP 12 uh, talks about a shell control as container. Now in our SAP UI5 application, we will introduce a shell control, which basically acts as a container for our application. And uh, we use it as our new root element in our view. The shell basically takes care of the uh, visual adaptation of our application according to the screen size of the device. And uh, it also introduces a letterbox, uh, which is specifically used for uh, large screen sizes, uh, such as desktop screens. In the preview section, you can see that uh, the width of our SAP F5 application has been uh, now limited. And uh, on the right hand side and on the left hand side of the screen, you can see some uh, blank area. So this is what is called as letterboxing. Now, in order to introduce the shell control as a container for our uh, root view, we have uh, introduced this shell control here, which basically is the root element in our view. And uh, inside the shell control, we have our existing app control and the pages and the page control and the panel and the content of our application. So the shell control basically acts, acts as the container for our view. Again, this shell control, it comes from the sap.m library. We can see here that the shell control is now the outermost control of our app and automatically displays a so-called letterbox if the screen size is larger than a certain width. And letterbox is nothing but uh, the capability to limit the width of our SAP UI5 application when it is being displayed uh, on large screens such as desktops. One important thing to note here is that uh, we don't have to add the shell control uh, in our XML view if uh, our application is running already running in an external shell. For example, when our application is running in a Fury Launchpad, which already has a shell around the UI component, in such cases, we need not to add a shell control in our application view. There are some other properties uh, we can use of from the sh shell control to customize the shell. Uh, it can be used for uh, setting a custom background image or color and uh, setting a custom logo. Now we'll run this application and uh, see how the changes uh, take effect. I've run the UI5 serve command and uh, now we will launch the application from localhost. We can see here that uh, if you see at the top of the screen, there is a dark blue colored border that is basically coming from the shell container in our screen because this is a laptop screen uh, so we cannot see the letter boxing in action in this particular screen size uh, if we run this application on a desktop screen on a larger screen size then we will see letter boxing and uh, the width of our ui5 application will be limited so this is it for uh, step 12 in the next video, we'll go through step 13 and uh, we'll learn about margins and paddings. So thank you for watching the video and have a nice day.